Hello, I'm Vache from FLIR, and in this video we're going to talk about formaldehyde, what it is, and why you need to test for it. Recently, formaldehyde has been a topic of conversation as high levels of it have been found in low-quality lumber and building materials. Formaldehyde is a strong-smelling, colorless gas found in aqueous solutions. The chemical has a wide number of uses in building materials and household products. It can be found in things like particle board, plywood, fiberboard, glues and adhesives, permanent press fabrics, home furnishings, paper product coatings, cosmetic products, cleaning products, cigarette smoke, and automobile exhaust. Formaldehyde is extensively regulated because it is a known carcinogen, and its levels can increase with rising temperature and relative humidity. Symptoms of short-term exposure include irritation of the eye, nose, and throat, coughing, wheezing, and bronchitis. Long-term exposure can cause respiratory symptoms, eye, nose, and throat irritations, skin irritation, allergic contact dermatitis, and risk of cancer. Most affected by exposure are children and the elderly, and people with breathing and other chronic illnesses. Exposure limits are 0.75 parts per billion in an 8-hour TWA, 2 parts per million in a 15-minute period, and 0.5 parts per million in an 8-hour TWA is a trigger level for increased monitoring and surveillance of working conditions. NIOSH defines 20 parts per million as immediately dangerous to life and health. Using a formaldehyde meter can help quantify exposure. XTEC has a few options, the handheld FM200 and desktop monitors like the FM100 and FM300. To measure, set alarm levels appropriate to define exposure limits for your application. Place the unit in your affected area and take your readings. Some airflow across the sensor is required. For more information about this and other XTEC products, head to www.xtech.com. Thank you.